Good morning and welcome to Morning Markets with True Potential. Today is Friday, 3rd of March. Uh, we'll look uh, look at what has happened over the past 24 hours in, in markets, but we'll also focus on, on European inflation print, which came out yesterday. Equity markets posted a remarkable comeback yesterday. We saw uh, early trading sessions in Europe and Asian markets were weak. That weakness continued in, in the U.S. market. But as the trading session progressed in, in, in U.S., we started seeing uh, some positive momentum coming back. Both uh, European and, equity, uh, and U.S. equity markets posting uh, decent gains yesterday. Uh, within bond markets, uh, we have continued with the uh, rise in bond deals. We, this time, the rise in bond deals was more linked to the inflation number, which coming, uh, came out of Europe. Europe and what it means for a uh, tightening cycle in Europe. Uh, again, uh, we saw a uh, dollar uh, come, uh, gaining back some of the, uh, the, some of the strength again uh, in, in yesterday's trading session. Uh, but focusing on the data, uh, we saw uh, the European inflation print come out yesterday. It slowed, but it slowed at a slower pace than what markets were expecting. Uh, the headline inflation came at 8.5%. Uh, core inflation uh, rose to 5.6%. Uh, what's behind the softness in uh, uh, European inflation? But it's energy prices, which we have been speaking about uh, to you for qu- quite some time. We've seen uh, energy prices coming down. Uh, energy inflation slowed to 13.7% from nearly 19% back in, in January. Uh, on the flip side, we saw food prices continue to rise, uh, which is uh, uh, food prices in Europe, European bloc rose by around 15%, which is a similar trend we saw in here in the UK as well. Uh, what it means uh, for, for European central banks uh, for, uh, for their rate outlook, uh, we see that uh, hawkishness has come back in the market. In fact, yesterday we saw uh, European Central Bank President Christian Lagarde reiterating the bank's commitment uh, towards a two, reaching towards 2% inflation target and what it means that they will have to continue raise rates uh, as much as uh, in two weeks' time we'll see another 50 basis points rise from a European Central Bank uh, uh, benchmark rate. Uh, and she also hinted that we may have to do continue uh, that uh, rate hiking policy well into this year. Uh, what's in the store for today? We have seen US ISM number uh, uh, later today. Uh, people, uh, uh, investors will be focusing on, on how the price pressures are coming up. Uh, but as always, we'll keep it posted on how they come. But thank you very much for watching Money Markets.